Hello, this is Craig. Let me show you the progress I've made in two days uh, on creating a mesh manipulation tool set. So first things first, let me go ahead and show you how you can create uh, face modifications. So what I've just done is I've used a little bit of a deflate on the nose, but alternately I can, instead of using the inflate and deflate, I'm going to shrink the brush down a little bit, which you do by mouse wheeling when you're not on the mesh, and grab the nose and just pull it and then I'll increase the size and you can create yourself a mesh, uh, a face however you'd like. And this is well suited to cartoon faces where you have exceptionally uh, uh, large and inhuman or small and inhuman uh, features. So if you were going to try and create realistic faces or moderate faces you would probably use a, a list of you know big eye, small eye, scalar bars, sort of th the thing you find in Daggerfall games, uh, or I guess our Elder, Elder Scroll games and Daggerfall games, show you, showing my age. Um, you can also manipulate the body pretty easily, and that includes both increasing uh, and decreasing its size. So here you can see that you can go ahead and manipulate it using the inflate tool, but you can also actually change the entire um, the entire way that it is uh, arranged by dragging. So you can create some pretty inhuman monstrosities if you want to. Now if you're worried that you'll make a, a mistake and screw the thing up beyond uh, beyond fixing, don't worry too much about it. You can just erase all of your changes like that. And uh, I can show you that we can also go in the opposite direction by deflating. We can give ourselves a much smaller character with much smaller body pieces. Um, and of course separately you would be able to manipulate the bones for shorter arms, longer necks, and so on. Um, that's not here yet. So using this method you could if you wanted to create your own character uh, without using or without wholly relying on the um, build the, the built-in shape key selection. So normally you'd be like, oh, well, I want to be, you know, 75% uh, uh, female morph and 33% beefy morph and whatever. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can instead uh, build yourself a female character, you know, just by shaping the body as you see fit, um, which is obviously going to take more effort and come out with something uh, that has a different fundamental shape than the way the body would look with the morphs. And you can do this. I showed you fat, and I showed you skinny, and I showed you female, and I showed you beefy. And those are the basic morphs that you'd get um, using the built-in morphs. So you can do all the things that the built-in morphs can do with more delicacy and uniqueness. And you can also do things the built-in morphs couldn't do, uh, such as creating really awful-looking monster characters like that. So... Uh, this is two days of work. It works pretty well. You can create your own faces, your own characters. Uh, you can create layers of clothing that contain morphs. So you could have like a shirt that makes you look like this. Um, and all in all, it's, uh, it's developing pretty easily and pretty well. And that's the progress report.